Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to make a tiny house or a garden office or whatever you want to call this. Uh, it's not a full house with a bathroom and kitchen and uh, all that stuff. It's just more of a single room. It's going to be used for work and recreation and stuff like that. So here I'm uh, making the ground frame and measuring the diagonals to make it square. To adjust the frame I just tap it with a hammer to get it uh, absolutely perfect. The lumber is 48 by 98 millimeters, which is pretty close to 2 by 4. So here is the actual floor framing uh, where the insulation and stuff uh, are going in. You can see I'm overlapping the corners here. I have not attached the floor joists yet, uh, because they're actually upside down. And here's the reason the joists are upside down. I'm adding some supports for the wood fiber boards that are going to hold the insulation. Now I can just turn them around and put them in place. Here I'm just lifting everything up a bit with the uh, wedges to get everything flat. And here I'm adding the wood fiber boards that are going to hold the insulation in place. I don't drive the nails all the way in yet, because I need to add some pressure on this. Uh, this is to avoid uh, any air in the insulation. This is a pretty tedious process, but it's very important, because you want it as airtight as possible. Uh, the insulation will not work properly if uh, the wind blows uh, straight into it. And now it's finally time to add the insulation. I'm using uh, rock wool. I just use a light touch here and uh, make sure it's no compression in the insulation. And make sure everything looks uh, nice and tidy. The insulation is in place and I can add some 22 mm particle boards for the floor. Just using a caulk line to make sure everything is lined up perfectly. I also add glue before I attach the particle boards. It's important that you get the first row correct or everything else will be off. I use a circular saw to cut off the end and I use this piece to begin the next row. It's always important to stagger the boards or offset them to make everything more rigid. Here I'm using a caulk line to mark the saw line, and I'm cutting off with a circular saw. I'm just doing this freehand, this doesn't need to be perfectly accurate. Mm -hmm. 
and finally check if everything is square and everything was spot on so I'm very happy with that. Now it's time to start on the walls. Uh, I have laid out the studs and I'm marking the top and bottom plate. Marking the top and bottom plate at the same time will align the studs perfectly. There are no windows on this wall, so this is a pretty simple wall to build. Uh, I'm able to raise it alone because uh, it's not too big. At the end of the wall I made a hinge, as you can see soon. You should see it there. This is to secure the wall. That's it for this video, in the next video I'm going to continue with walls and please like the video if you like it of course and uh, don't forget to subscribe, I would highly appreciate that and if you have any comments please comment below. Thanks for watching.